Yeah, you know, that's fine. Um, everything's, everything's good. We're all good. Everything's fine here. Hey, thanks. Oh, God. Whoa. That was... Oh, wait. Uh, I, I, uh, Mr. Godfather, I'd like, I'd like to ask a favor of you. You come here. You come here on the day of my daughter's wedding. You ask me a favor. On the day of my daughter's wedding. I, uh, yeah. That's it. That's my entire impression. That's all of it. <laughs> That's all of it. And scene. Why do you need to make a snowman? My what? sister Anna won't stop asking. <laughs> what? You don't have a sister. Do you want to build a snowman? No. She comes outside my door every day and she asks me, I'm like, I've got deadlines. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Could you imagine Elsa? There's not even like, any snow. It's like, there's no snow to make it with. Elsa's like, I'm doing my taxes. Try to run a king. They have the US rights for it. Your horn is in my face. <laughs> get it out of here. Get out get out of here. Not horn. 
How dare you? Your antler. How dare you? <laughs> Are you related to Bambi? Yes. Whoa, I didn't know that. <laughs> I shot Bambi's mother. Oh no, Doik, no! <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't realize it would be so easy to be an investigator. I should have become Sherlock Holmes way sooner. I've already. Shh. Do you smell that? <laughs> you did not expect the fart to happen. Nope. That's amazing. <laughs> That's just something Doug and I say to one another because we think it's funny that you tell someone to shush and then ask if they smell something. That's from Ghostbusters. Like Let's play fuck, marry, and kill with the bots. <laughs> I love the fucking, I love the fucking <laughs> silence. I, I wanted to see. I, I'm happy I'm censoring this. <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, how y'all doing? Can you hear me okay? <laughs> Just about to turn the uh, mic on and all I hear from India is, Leave my grapes alone! <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? She's trying to eat the grapes. Grapes, grapes, are, not, grapes are not good for cats. <laughs> Don't let her eat the grapes. Don't let her eat the grapes! Oh, my face started working suddenly. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> uh, hello. So, as you can tell from the stream title, which you all read, right? You all read it. You all read that title. You all read that. You all read that title. I'm feeling inspired <laughs> due to uh, foreseen and unforeseen circumstances. So today. The tutorials are on hold. <laughs> I got special permission. <laughs> I watched Barry's ha- Okay. I watched most, I hope, of Barry's house. But I fell asleep. Um, toward the end. I couldn't- I couldn't make it. All the way. Um... So, I I'm just I feel I've got I've got the jiggling energy of like whoa that was so good. We should watch some Barry's house clips. Suggests India, so you all can see if you haven't already seen what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm I'm good with that. I'm good. Let's have a little, a little look-see. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. Yeah, that's fine. Take your time. There's no rush. Mm 
Um, so what was this? Oh, uh, yeah, my arm, my uh, arm equivalents. Yeah. I'm I'm, so, I'm um, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry yeah. to. You need to. Yeah, please. <laughs> Bob. Oh, it's very good. Oh, the the bup in tiny pink font inputs were not sanitized properly. How do you mean? What happened? My job. Absolutely. Well, it's all stuff. Mhm. Oh man, let's let's get out of here before I miss Golden Girls. You still have a bup from the audio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is! Yo, there it is! Yo, tricks! Tricks and stunts! That was a good, that was a good one. I still have a bop, I'm gonna throw it from the audience, watch this. Bop. That was so good. Whoa! <gasps> New donation from a very special Phoenix. OMG doiks with big fan. Chopped. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for the Kofi. Let me get let me get a Kofi. Grab the wrong thing. Wrong thing. Wrong right right thing? Yeah. This is how you drink coffee. <laughs> yeah. You haven't had tea yet. Aw. You haven't had tea yet. No. I don't think that's the glue. I think some of the goo might be escaping the pit. That was big lamp. <laughs> big lamp got to Barry. <laughs> I like is that Gamb? Oh. Gamb. I his segment made me laugh a lot. It was so awkward. <laughs> You okay, Barry? <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. So I, I love that. I love, I love everything that was going on there. <laughs> oh my gosh, the camera zoom in on Barry on the floor. Absolute best. A little bit. The lamp. Ponder the lamp. I'm gonna ponder it. The lamp provides warmth. It is quite, oh. Yeah, and it provides hat. Provides hat. <laughs> Hat and warm. Provides clarity. Yeah. If you look deep in the lamp, you look deep in yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry you're not real. <laughs> but all that's real is lamp. I'm sorry you're not real. I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you're not real. I'm sorry you're it's not real. Mari. What? <laughs> it's Katamari outside. It's dangerous. Oh. <gasps> Giraffetopus. Giraffetopus is here now. Uh, hey, how you Welcome doing? Welcome on in. Yeehaw. Oh. What the fuck am I? Oh. You at? You at? Huh? Oh, this oh, one. Birthday. Hep oh. <laughs> Yo, did you go to Burger King? <laughs> I clipped this Burger part King as well. It's just like match game. Happy Ides of March, everyone. Happy what Ides. What month is it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I should make it so that it queues up clips that are requested. I don't have that as a feature yet. So you'll need to you'll need to do the one with the crab again. Hey. 
All right. All right, everybody, you, you each have one ball. Make sure you're good at aiming. Our <laughs> to those of you that kept your ball for later, I salute you. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You're supposed to aim at. <laughs> oh, very good. I love. I love Pincho. I love the whole saloon segment. <laughs> Mods couldn't open the request panel, it crashed the tab. For for what? Oh! Oh, really? All of the balls all at once crashed it. <laughs> Things could be a lot worse than, than far. I mean, I made... Um, I'm, so, I with the love of abbreviations in Japan, Wendy's is sometimes referred to as a uh, fucking Wendy's. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's unfortunate. Oh, I love Wendy's. They've been shut down in my town twice for health violations. <laughs> I love her. I love that hot girl shit. Fucking Wendy's, dude. Fucking, the fucking Wendy's. Fucking Wendy's. Oh, what do you think about Wendy's, Barry? Um, you know... <laughs> oh, it was, it was a good time. Are there any clips from later on? Uh, cause I missed, I missed, uh... The kind of tail end of Invisigai. I missed the tail end of Viz being on. I saw all these. I was there. In the shadows. <laughs> nice floors. You have yourself a nice Blair Witch in the corner now, you hear? Nice wall. <laughs> nice floors. <laughs> the nice floors bit was really good. Nice stream. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ragdoll Happy looks birthday. so fun. <laughs> Bring back Ragdoll. I mean, look at look at it. <laughs> Yes. Just like that. Just like that. Yes. You gave yes. Barry a follow because of yes. these clips that <laughs> you weren't yes. already following? Holy shit, it worked! What? Chat Holy shit! Your, what is- em emojis. There's snail racing? It was real. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Snails are real, guys. They're not just make-believe. Yes! By, by big snail no. trying to mess with you. They're actually really real. Really real real <laughs> Ah you saw so, such a <laughs> I hadn't seen that. Thank you. <laughs> so the thing in Barry's channel is sometimes the mods make polls or people redeem poll redeems for snail races. Oh Oh my gosh. <laughs> what happened to the snails? <laughs> 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 
Barry's winning. <laughs> it is so funny. <laughs> I'm turning your mic on. Oh. <laughs> Barry won. <laughs> Barry won victory dance. <laughs> Is this how the stream ended? Oh, I love it. India is totally excited by all of this. Don't be alarmed. When I sit down, I'm gonna. Okay, I'll try. I'll prepare myself best I can. Oh, <laughs> oh what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So good. That's about. Yeah, I'm really Vi glad those four guys went out of their way to make this back here. It's cool of them. I have grave news, Biz. Oh, uh, that's a very funny pun. I have grave, grave. I didn't mean it as a pun. I have grave news. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, how do you make the how, so so? How do you make the text pink? Do you ha do you have to tap into like Text Mesh Pro, kind of stuff, where it does like to Text Mesh Pro have those tags? What's the what is it? Okay, so. I know I know what sanitizing your text is and does, <laughs> but I never did it for the mods. <laughs> the audience member said, "This sub size ten bup in the bup clip." <laughs> uh, mo mods, give that a <laughs> give that a go. See what happens. I'm curious if anything happens. <laughs> yeah. What do I do? Okay. So write uh, exclamation boo. Then space. And then paste in everything inside of the quotes that Alex did. <gasps> Whoa, that was like simultaneously crow mailed. Do not use size 200. <laughs> no. <laughs> Curious. Huh. Did you get did you get the front bracket? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not I'm not reading those crow man. Let's go find out. Let's go find out. <laughs> uh There you go. Bop not doing the pink weird let's see this one <laughs> you you need the you need the for the for the first bracket martina yeah the first arrow bracket There you go. New powers. Where did Martina go? Let's see. There you are. Let's see this. <laughs> there you go, Alex. <laughs> I 
There you go, Ben. <laughs> so, I think what I'll do is I'll sanitize the crow mail. Sorry. And I won't sanitize the mod chat so that mods can have fun. What do you think? There you go. <laughs> there you go. And that is what is unsanitized string. The power of unsanitized strings does. Yeah, remove the sub to make it be bigger. Wait, would this, would this work? I don't know if source images would work. No, no. So the thing is, is, okay. So the thing is, is Unity uses something called Text Mesh Pro. And Text Mesh Pro takes a bunch of tags. So we can look that up. Doesn't look like there's too many. Um, you can make it bold, italics, underline, superscript, subscript, line feed, I think is to, uh, I think is slash N, maybe for a new line. You can tab it. Uh, you can change the position, the size and the color. That's about it. Oh, there's so many crow mills now. All right, let's see. Oh, look. Sprites, more sprites, and even more sprite name default sprite asset for color. Nice. Yeah, I guess there's sprites as well. I was messing around with sprites yesterday. Um so that we can add emotes to the crow mails. Um, I was trying to hook that up, but I didn't quite get it. Didn't quite get it working. Partial success. <laughs> Too large. <laughs> yes, Martina, you did. Don't you must be haunting Swift. Hi, this is your son's school. We're having some computer trouble. Oh dear, did he break something? In a way. Did you really name your son Robert? <laughs> Drop table students. Oh yes, little Bobby. Tables we call him. Well, we've lost this year's student records. <laughs> I hope you're happy. And I hope you've learned to sanitize your database inputs. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I'm assuming that the Text Mesh Pro doesn't have access to anything else, game related wise.
You're trying to work in Lark, but too much fun stuff is happening. Stop being entertaining, dog. Okay, <laughs> blue. <laughs> yes, that's blue. <laughs> You've got a chromail behind the chair. Alright, let's see if we can tidy. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, the coders are having fun. Yeah, no, it doesn't do images. So, TextMesh Pro does do sprites. Um, and that's how we'll unlock doing emotes in text. Which is, like, a next step for me. I was trying to figure it out. I got as far as um, pulling pulling sprites based on their URL images. Um, and I got as far as I can put sprites, as you saw Ben do, I can put sprites into the text. The thing I'm trying to figure out is the step between pulling a pulling a uh, pulling an image and then updating the sprite asset um, to at runtime. Um, the stopgap I was going to do was that I was going to make a sprite sheet of our sprites so you can use our sprites because um, they don't need to be like pulled and updated. Um, uh, yeah, they don't need to be pulled and updated dynamically. And maybe add a few favorites from a few friends. Um, some monster ones are <laughs> very good. Ben, how many points do you have? You you're down to three point six K. Oh my gosh. Did you see some of Barry's? I I feel vindicated. I feel vindicated. Bar Some of Barry's costs were like, I thought really reasonable. Where's my collision gone? Why am I not colliding with these anymore? Weird. Weird. That's weird. See, the thing with the that text box, <gasps> Martina, is that it only goes to a certain width, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but Barry doesn't have interactions every stream. No, that's true. That's true. I think it I think it was nice that um they become the audience member was so high because it rewarded people who had been watching him for oh oh I'm saving up for a good luck money hole Yeah and is saying that she didn't like that it was so high because she couldn't she couldn't afford it Well you should have watched more Barry Not Barry <laughs> I don't know if Twitch rewards you for watching VODs. They should reward you for watching VODs. But then maybe you could just put VODs on and leave it. I know, but like, if you could do that and not be watching. I don't know if you get ad revenue from VODs either, which is... Twitch probably does, yeah. Do you... Do, do we have ads on our VODs? Do you get... Do you, do you watch ads when you watch VODs? On Twitch. One of them is for Ben. Okay. <laughs> is it this one? 
Let's see what this one says. Oh, that's very good. Echo, echo, echo. Oh, it's very good. Uh, hi ho, been lurking recently, trying 3D modeling. Thanks for the inspiration to do so. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. It was kind of, it was kind of funny. Um, yesterday, uh, Thor was like, hey, have you ever seen this streamer? And I checked them out. Their name is Duper. Uh, D-O-O-P-E-R. Shout out for Duper. Um, and I was like, no, I'd never seen them. And I went and checked out their streams. They're so cool. They're so cool. Um, they've got this kind of like low poly Mega Man Legends-esque aesthetic. They <laughs> Indy's screaming Dreamcast. We were we were <laughs> we were laughing. Indy said that it seems like anyone who kind of was was a kid that grew up with the Dreamcast was altered was was like uh what was what was the phrase you used? Like changed forever. <laughs> altered from a DNA level. And uh <laughs> yeah. I so I, I checked them out and then like the recent tweet with them running around this little chibi form thing of them of their character was so good. Oh, it was like ah oh, oh they had the little jump spin and oh it was so cool. Yeah, the character controller looked so good. Um so I started just following I followed uh Duper and I followed the uh, there's a game dev um, oh, what's his, his name? Uh, it, oh. if you, if you could, it's a, it's a, he's a frog. Um, no, the, the developer for, uh, pumpkin potions, Woody, uh, also fought, like we followed one another different as different person. Yeah. Basically, I'm just following people now, more people doing similar sort of stuff and it was cool to connect. That's what I was sort of leading to. Um, <laughs> Swift is saying dog making friends. I don't know if they're friends, but they're but they're like minded, and I like that. And hopefully, we can uh, share enthusiasm with one another. Book. I feel like I've really missed a trick with these books. <laughs> For a for a long time, you see me. I was like, ah, oh, get some books in there. It'll look like you know, like a little library. That's cool. It's a lot of like easy to make objects. And then you look at Barry Stream, and he's like, book covers though. <laughs> we could make some book covers. Though I think I've I've been missing a, an absolute trick of a thing for the for the street. Did you say people can submit some? <laughs> so I'm feeling inspired I don't I don't want to just rip everything Barry did but in my heart I'm like oh it's really good so I'm trying to think of like take that feeling and like do do stuff today that helps you know put the production value up I really liked the the, the on thirds camera thing setup that he had. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, so I, I think I was going to start off with just being like, where's cool shots of the room? Um, Duper does this as well uh, on his intro um, or, or on there. I don't, I don't know. I don't know pronouns for Duper um, on their intro. Uh, they have like different camera shots of things going on. And I thought that was super neat. And as, as I flesh out the ship later, and we could add more, but I think we could do more with the first room than what we're, what I'm currently doing. Like I have a couple of camera angles, like, you know, the screen, but that's, that's functional. That's to look at the screen. I want some, some not, well, I want functional, but I want fun -tional. I should read last two messages. 
Dog, I'm flashing back to that. Our friendship was built on a lie clip when Barry and Todd were joking about Barry stealing the credit for dog swifting. Dog, I totally had the idea to put covers on books first. Montage of clips of Barry reading the book titles Bath made. Okay, listen. Listen. I did. I. I. Look. I've. I've put covers on books. I. <laughs> look. There's a book. It has a cover. I did it first. You can't say I didn't. <laughs> look. I've had books in the overlay for fucking two years. Mine aren't funny. Look. I just have this one. The animator survival kit. Throws Glim furiously, yeah. <laughs> also, the angle of picking any of these up is wrong now because I put the fucking... He could, he could turn things when he was holding them. Yeah. Would you like that? I've built that already. I did that for the torch. So if you if you want that, we can do <coughs> we can do that. Anyway, Barry's great, says Swifty. <laughs> yeah. Look, is 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 Barry and me together? Actually, Barry helped me test out the emotes. Uh, so let me let me grab an image. Let me grab uh, Barry, Barry. <clears throat> Grab. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Fucking mods. Yeah, the way. There we go. The glow is very good. Yeah, when I was checking it whether I could import uh, emotes, I asked Barry to try and do an emote um, to see if the, the case where it didn't, and then when it didn't, I posted in the Barry one. Oh god, I can't. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. Let's, let's do stuff. Why am why am I being hit? Bop. <laughs> hurry up and do oh okay, hurry up and do stuff. That's that's fair. That's that's very fair. Tell them about your feel. India wants me to make her an endless field for when she finishes our deadlines. <laughs> um, so we have some ideas for that. One of them being, well, I don't know if I should say the the solution you said. Because I've 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 made a realization. I've made a realization. Okay, one of the one of the strengths, I think of of Barry's what Barry does is Barry doesn't tell anybody what he's done <laughs> and he shows them what he's done and then it's a it's like an event 
<laughs> and he's like, no, but I'm going to say, just tell them, just tell them what I said. <laughs> but if I do it and then show them, then the, then, then they'll see it and then they'll be like, wow, that's cool. But if I tell them and then I do it, then they're like, yeah, that's the thing you told us about. You just sit there for a week. The cute thing is adorable. Which cute thing? Where is it? I'm going to get it. Where's the cute thing? Where's the cute thing? Where is it? You think it's always impressive what you do, Doi. Aww, Onsta. Time out. <laughs> Too wholesome. Kind of like how a sandwich tastes better if someone else makes it. I don't know if that, no, I just, I feel like, I feel like in the same spirit where um, VTubers do this whole like tease and debut cycle. I miss that bus every time because I work on it on stream. Do you, do you, you want to give me a debut? I missed my debut. I didn't get a prom. <laughs> well, I'll just, pre <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think you can. I think you can lie and just be like, you can just be like, hey, this has never been seen before. And then everyone can be in on the joke. <laughs> Debut, but it's just your model with a handsome Squidward face. I just think I'm really bad at like planning ahead like that, like making more. Out I think I think the thing is, is I'm not very good at making more out of a thing than, it, than I think it is. Does that make sense? I'm not good at putting the spin of like, look how exciting this is. I'm just like, hey, look at it. And then, and then you get as, as excited as you want to. Secret floating island debut. Shit like that would be really cool. I need, I don't, I don't need to hype myself up more. I just need to do more stuff. Wants to get some yakitori. I want some yakitori. Where's your floating island? It's out there. Look, there's an island. It's got banners and everything. Yeah, whenever I hype myself up, I get sprayed. <laughs> That's true. I'm not giving chat a spray bottle. I'm not doing, no, I'm not doing. Did you see what happens to Barry? They just use it constantly. <laughs> of course people like the idea. What would it do? It would spray me. What, so a spray bottle appears next to me and sprays me. And then what? That's it. <laughs> like what? Can you, can you hear India? Um, India is saying that I could give chat the opportunity to do something nice for me, but I don't know oh, what that would be. Then I glisten in the light. That would be kind of good. Oh, I could do it so that if I get sprayed, I look wet. Like, you know in uh, previous games where they like just darken the, the texture a little bit. That'd be cool. That'd be complicated to do, but that'd be cool. I don't know what I want chat to give me. <laughs> Love and admiration. A little award. <laughs> For when I've done a good job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like this is coding in my own carrot and stick. Hmm. Power Wash Simulator, Doig Swift DLC, yeah. 
Okay. First up, camera angles. Uh, main. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look. <clears throat> got got custom custom sprites starting on on Chromail. And then I was thinking of adding the from thing to the bottom so it looked like a real ladder. You could make a cookie jar and to unscrew the lid is 150,000. What to reward me with cookie? You liked Barry's hats. Yeah, they were fun. And the fact you could knock them off was very good. A redeemable reward for Doggy to go over to India and hug her. You mean virtually or in real life? In real life, <laughs> says India. Both. Aww. Yeah, that's easy enough. No coding required. In fact, it requires the coding to stop. Two hundred thousand points. Doig gets one and only one revenge hit attempt against one and only one mod. <laughs> yeah, I just pick up the mods and throw them. Loading things into the cannon is a great is a great idea. Back when we worked on Mutiny, we could have, we had like a little loading bay and you could just stuff whatever you wanted in there and fire it. I should bring that back. No! Sea of Thieves this. No, we did it first. <laughs> <laughs> we did it first in Mutiny. Not taking Sea of Thieves' idea. <laughs> I had no word of a lie. Devs from Sea of Thieves played Mutiny before Sea of Thieves came out. And one of them came up to me and was like, uh, so just so you know, we didn't like, we didn't like take, we, we like, we didn't take the ideas from your game. <laughs> I was like, I was, and that's fine. <laughs> Pirate games, yo. Stuffing someone in the cannon involved them being ragdolled. So you would like hit someone over the head and they would ragdoll and then you would stuff them into a cannon. <laughs> Let's bring that back for the overlay. Okay, list. List. Uh, 
um, list. Do 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 do. Creating more small moments of discovery, making more of new features. Uh, cool vignettes. Uh, make ragdoll work. It funny. Make it w work on more than just Swift. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you love me for making ragdoll work on me. Oh, okay, you're just saying it. Oh, thank you. Um, book covers. It's funny. I've already written that. Oh, Rebe Rebecca Roni is going to incur some sort of wrath unto me if you're late for modding. Oh no. <laughs> um. Okay. I think. Let's see. I think a good angle would be like one for the purple couch. So, where's my te where's my temp cam? This is one of them. Yeah, screen view. Purple couch. Wish it was easy. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Just hit play on this and see where it goes. I sure you did assume Barry invented it. <laughs> it's going to become a running joke that everything that. I've done Barry invented and everything Barry <laughs> done. It's rare games invented. <clears throat> time time to lurk and work. Indeed. Oh, so you go to work at half ten. I get you. <clears throat> see, now we can see where the camera goes and then copy the transforms later.
something else by accident there. So what would be, what would be a good angle in this couch? I think something I'm realizing is that Barry has a really good sense for staging that I really don't have. He's such a showman. No, you do. You do, Swifty. You have a sense of staging. I could, I can run things by you. Are we optimizing the couch for guests? Well, yeah. I'm, I want to. I want to have a camera we can cut to if, if we're doing like. I'm. I'm riffing on Barry's kind of whole talk show setup. I feel like. I feel like. The Vipo Moon Race is the um the moon <laughs> is don't laugh i'm not finished the get it getting to the moon is multiplayer um so hmm so the, the the Vipo Moon Race. We're in we're in the running for the Vipo Moon Race. We're gonna win the Vipo Moon Race. Let's go. I meant to I am meant to be working on multiplayer. My Kofi goal is not on screen. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> there we go. Now it is. We're four percent. <laughs> of the way to the moon. I learned the moon is farther away than you think it is. Uh, yesterday. Day before. You think the moon is far away. I think the moon is farther away than you think it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. I could do some multiplayer stuff today. I will. Let's get let's get some box. You you want to you want to help me test getting boxes moving? Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone anybody want to help me move boxes? <laughs> That's really funny. Onsta will help. Okay. Well, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to like figure it out. <laughs> we, we do have an Onsta shade. Um, <laughs> okay. We'll give it, we'll give it a go. Charlie. Are you going to try and handle other people's animatas? Uh, well, I think what's probably going to happen is, in my head, 
it's going to be like um every every time that we have a, th a kind of situation where we invite a new guest on there'll be a lot of prep work involved in getting that guest onto the onto the stream and as we do that we'll build up a collection of compatible uh compatible friends <laughs> Compatible friends. Uh, compatible friends. See, that. See the advantage of VR chat is they have a very defined way of structuring their information. And I actively don't want <laughs> to use that for whatever reason. I'm an anarchist. Um, but we'll, we'll see, because I do a bunch of stuff similar. So for instance, my my face tracking thing um, uses the same sort of stuff. Open, st open standards are good. Yeah, open standards are good. The thing is, is I want to do more stuff than what VR chat does. So... Or not necessarily more stuff, because they do a whole bunch, and people are modding and coding all the time for it. Um, so I don't know. I just wanted, I wanted to, I want to be able to make a system. Here was my goal, okay? I wanted to learn how to do stuff on my own, on my own Steam. And <clears throat> before I started building this, I was aware of like the other softwares. But I didn't want to be, um, I didn't want to learn the specialist skill um, involved in, in in knowing how VR chat models were set up and um, setting up things for uh, like live 2D or I didn't, yeah, I didn't want to learn that specifically because then all I'd be able to do was make stuff for that specific box I wanted to learn how to make the box so that I could add things onto the outside of the box not just make things for what was inside of the box but I think I think the box has changed since I started so ah <laughs> yeah I wanted I wanted to learn how to make the box I wanted to make the box dog shaped Drift compatible friends. <laughs> Onsta, yes. Yes. Oh man, I love Pacific Rim. It's so fucking cool. I'm I'm pretty but I'm pretty box shape. I'm pretty square. You love that movie. It's really good. What they took inspiration from in as I I heard that I heard yeah, it's basically like a love letter to Evangelion, but I heard that Gildo Gil Guillermo del Toro hadn't I don't think he'd seen uh, Evangelion. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I don't think he personally had seen it when he was working on the movie, but I'm pretty sure the rest of the crew had. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah it's like, wait, this shot. <laughs> yeah, it's like so many homages and like, oh, did Oh, dang. <laughs> I think, I think, Gil, 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 is it Guillermo? Gil, I think Guillermo, when he did watch it, was like, this is fantastic. The, the rest of the, the crew were just like, we got this. 
<laughs> oh, we know what to do here. <laughs> Alright, Ben, take care. I'm also behind. I've, I've positioned one camera. Then on our room manager. One second. <laughs> do, 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 do. I. <laughs> New donation from a very special Libra, Bup. <laughs> Bup, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. Bup. I should just have a summon the crow mail to me button. Nah, I can run around this way. Bop. Bop. So let's think about this. Um. Currently, I have a system whereby which I can toggle into toggle into a camera like this but then I can also hit this but th the second button doesn't override the first button until I hit it twice I want I want to have a better system I want to have a system by which if I press if I press this camera button this it goes to that camera. I think we need that. I think we need that. Um, because I think it's still toggled on. And that's too much to think about. As in, I can't get out of this view. There we go. So. I think we need to rewrite the temporary camera system. So we need <clears throat> when one temp cam is activated, all other temp cams are deactivated. Maybe we need a camera manager rather than putting this in room manager because room manager like slightly different. I'm very today.
Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think what I want to do is public list. Camera machine. Virtual camera. Temp cam. So we can know all of the temp cams that exist. Alright. Equals new ba 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 ba. Cool. Then we want to be able to deactivate. Public version of this of current temp cam. So we know which one is currently active. Um, and if current tempt tempt cam? No, not tempt cam. We don't want no tempt cam here. No temp cams allowed. If current temp cam is equal to cam, then um, And we want to deactivate the um, the cam. So basically, this is a toggle. If the if the cam that we're asking to activate is already activated, then the button will toggle will deactivate it and it will go off. So I can hit the button, and then um, yeah, I can hit the button. And then it'll turn off. I hit the button once, turns the cam on, hit the button again, it'll turn the cam off. If the button is different, then else. We, um, we deactivate current and can. We might not even need the list, actually.
since only one cam will ever be activated at once. <laughs> Just a little tamped cam. thinking ahead to where it would be good for doing the like toggle on the stream deck um where it like it toggles the icons on and off that might be b2 though So it deactivates the current temp cam, then it changes the current temp cam to the new cam that's passed in, and it makes cam priority 20. What does cam priority affect? So in the system for Cinemachine, uh, a camera's priority, the higher it is, um, that determines what that, that that camera will be shown. So the higher priority, you can have 10 game objects active, and you can have 10 Cinemachine cameras running. But it will only show um, through the camera that the cinema machine brain is attached to the camera that has the highest. And I think if the both priority numbers match, it will take the new one over like a newly activated one over a previously activated one. So say you mistakenly have a set of script where you say this camera priority is now 10. And then you say another one and now this one's 10. Um, then it'll do, it'll take the new one as if it, it changed. Yeah, you don't have to hide the cameras. You can just change the priority. Yep. That's, yeah. So I have them. I have for temp cams, I just have them on. But I set all of their priorities to five. I actually don't know uh, whether Unity is clever enough to not spend resources on an active the machine camera that has a lower priority. I would hope so. That would make sense to me. You were disabling yours. I mean, you can. Like, that also works. But then you have to um, enable and disable the other ones. Like, if you... If, even if you enabled it and it had a lower priority, it still wouldn't show. But I, I yeah, I used to dis enable and disable them as well. It also works. You just made me think there that um, the list might be good for something. I was thinking ahead of like maybe the list is um, a bunch of classes of like temp, like temp cam and we could store what the temp cams stream deck icon would be in there. Maybe.
Uh, right now, I'm, I'm working on a system that lets me uh, jump to different temp cams via Stream Deck. Uh, so Stream Deck buttons input in, it jumps to the different cams and jumps away from the previous cam. <laughs> Basically making Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, so like comment out there and then This shoe, this button should activate the temp. Um, I need to make sure that. current temp cam becomes null because otherwise we'll never be able to go back into the camera again. Your job hunting you have somewhere <laughs> that looks promising. That's awesome. That's really cool. <laughs> what are you hoping to what are you hoping to get? Okay, deactivate temp cam, deactivate back, temp go. Means I must have one for screen cam as well. Which one do you think that is? Yeah, I think that's cool as well. Cool. That too happened at the very end of a song that you were listening to. Can you guys not hear the music that's playing on the stream?
We can. Okay, so Ul is just listening to other stuff. It's very quiet today. Da, 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 da. How is it quieter than it was? I didn't change anything. I swear. It's not. This one just must be lore. Yeah, this one's immediately louder. Ah. Cool. So if I hit, we turn it off. It make sure it goes back to not watching the screen. Uh, nice.
throw up some arrows, I think. I mean... This is nothing, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is not, we don't need this. This is just the same. This is, this is just, this is just the same. Ah, it's fine. Yep, no reference to this because we don't use it now. Toggle couch cam. I uh, go to definition. Um, if we did have a list, we could cycle through them easier. And I would need less explicit. Okay. Oh, good luck with the meringue. Okay. Public. Class. M. M. Um. String. 
public string uh, name. No, not name. Um, name with a capital. Um, so there she is. Um, and probably a sprite um, stream deck do 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 Okay. Refactoring this code immediately. So now we can have a list of temp cameras and then have this information hopefully inside of it. What we'll do is, oh we're already using the ordinance vector, cool. Yeah, so rather than have me having to like specifically detail all of these, I want to make it a little easier on myself for setting it up. And so hopefully in my head, creating this class called tempcam inside of here um, means I can make kind of ob containers of, of these three pieces of information per tempcam. Um, rather than being like, this is this, and then whatever, and then refer to it by its name. So let me see if I can do an example of this. I've also added um, a Stream Deck button, because I want to hopefully be able to um, toggle via code whether the button is lit up or not, because usually you, you like the stream deck is just for for things that token to um, hook into unity it's just like it's just one button and you don't know whether you have toggled it on or off or pressed it or or whatever so um hopefully this this will alleviate that hell if i were clever enough i could even do like a little cooldown timer and stuff on things and display that. <laughs> Dang, that would be rad. Oh, wow. Going from... I think that was Undertale to um, Outer Wild. It's a good playlist. So rather than cinema machine blah 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 we can do current temp cam current temp cam that'll break a bunch of stuff but pass in a temp here and 
temp.cam dot priority. So it looks inside of the class of temp cam. Now I can call that. And then inside of temp cam has a cam that is the same as the cinema machine thing from before. Change the priority. So again, call this temp. Give this the prefix temp cam. So temp cam. Temp. Okay, I'm going to hit an issue here of toggling it on. I need to refer to it by name. Um, Thinking. Would an enum have been better for this? Bob! Hey, Golem. <coughs> Would an enum have been better for this? A motherfucking dictionary would be better. Yes. Yeah, a dictionary. A motherfucking dictionary, yeah. Okay. Temp camp <coughs> don't need no name no more. Because we'll use the dictionary uh, to give it its name. So 
uh, string. <laughs> Barry's house stuff today made me decide to tackle ragdoll stuff for my model. Finally figured out why the ragdoll wizard doesn't work. Barry's house is great. I've, as as India said, and I'm riffing on her, Barry has such a creative, like, not, did you creative streak to him? Or creative something. Yeah. And he's saying that he's just a creative guy. He's got creative professionalism. Barry is able to like take a take something, like take something like the concept of this type of uh, you know game engine VTuber building whatever, and really hone in on how to create a a memorable and creative and like performance piece almost with it, um, and really like. He's just, he's just a comedy genius. Yeah, no. Yeah. MD is saying he wouldn't want to do Barry House every day, so bear that in mind. It's true, yeah. I think he wants to... Well, I can't say what I think he wants to do, but... Um... All the bones on the model you bought from the Unity store are pointing in the wrong direction, so you're going to have to handcraft all the ragdoll stuff. Would you... I suppose if the anims change. Um, Gulim, I would reach out to Kawatoon and see if she knows any solutions for um, rotating the bones without, without rotating the bones, like changing their axis to see if um, it can preserve the items you already have on him, but change up some stuff. Uh, Kawa tuned. Um, she's fantastic. Just in case, like, that'll help solve it in a kind of less arduous way, but, you know, if you, if you know how to do, like, a ragdoll wizard, then... Okay, so um, Am I making this more difficult for myself just because I... Hmm. <laughs> no, it is the children who are wrong. <laughs>
Have I gone done this in the wrong order? No, surely not. How do I? How do I get? Hmm. Mm. I get value. Should I wrap this in an if or just try get values already do so? Like if I do if I do this. Okay, cool. Right, let's hit save on this. And then go back here. Yeah, so rather than having my my current system of like all those screen cams and then all these toggles. No. No. Didn't like that for yet. For yet. Save. Does it, does it pop up saying I have a able to update Visual Studio? I never even I don't see that anymore.
There's a bug in Unity when I'm using Spout that uh, it makes a new game window every time. <laughs> If I cross one of them off, it says failed to load. It's quite something. And that's why I wasn't crossing them off. <laughs> You've never experienced that, yeah. Okay, so now that we have our list, ah, um, I might have misstepped here. idea <clears throat> you just came to see the stream and the first thing you saw is a visual studio update ah nerds Yeah, see if you see if this makes any sense to you, uh, Golem. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Play mode view set focus. There must be something in my scene that. It's just erroring out. Oh, you can't read. I I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um. All right. So, <clears throat> rather than explicitly saying, "Hey." Um, this temp cam, uh, is written inside of room manager. I'm just going to move. Move this. Essentially. To here. Um. Using cool. Uh. Cool. Literally only making this now so I can include this, which is actually kind of.
Am I being silly? I might be being silly. Is there anything else that I need to put into here? I could put more... You know what? No. Button on. Button off. I'll do it for, like this for now. Thinking like I could put the dictionary stuff. Um, I see how, how this goes. Back on room manager. Still looking for this version of the... What are you making today? Um, I'm making a a way to trigger different temp cams to switch between them. Um, and I'm setting up a system to uh, to make it easier to make more like more temp cams. Uh, basically, I'm trying to create a way that it's easy to toggle them on and off, and it makes sense. Because right now I have a lot of um, bulls being thrown around of like if this one is toggled on and this one is toggled on and this one's off and then the, what, what happens and I'm making a more streamlined system so that if one of them toggles on all of the others toggle off and I'm including another bunch of information in there that I can send to Stream Deck to change the graphic so that at a glance I can see what's happening and if I tap a button hopefully Indy will also be able to see what's happening and stuff like that. But I might be over engineering it. Yeah, for changing the camera angle. So, for instance, I have a sort of system like that now. <laughs> Which, uh, 
that is one's dependent on wherever Swifty is, and she is way somewhere else. Main. Um. <laughs> so that camera is currently tracking back from where Swifty had been back to here. There we go. <laughs> It's purposefully really slow. I might do a setting on it that it's like, hey, are these even in view? If no, go faster. But for now, I've got it on quite slow and laggy so that if we move around really fast, the camera doesn't, doesn't react really fast to it. It smoothly does it. So it's a, li it's a little bit of easier move like experience. Um, but yeah, so I can... Here she goes. Um, and I'm, I'm setting it so that it's easier to manage different buttons for different camera angles and do like camera cuts and stuff. Soloing a camera is not a bad plan. That's not a bad plan, actually. That might be an editor thing. plans for the camera angles. Uh, I want to add um, kind of framing shots. Uh, so uh, basically um, yesterday Barry ha Barry had his uh, Barry Kramer had his um, April Fool's stream and we went back to Barry's house and he'd set up this really cool talk show um, kind of set up setting and um, I really liked how he was cutting to different camera angles for comic, like comedic effect, um, and so I, I <laughs> I'm riffing on that idea and seeing where I, where I can play with it, see what we can do with what we currently have. Because I think it will, I think it will add to the comedy. In addition to that. Um, I saw the starting screen of a streamer called uh, Duper, and he's doing some like really cool. Sorry, they I I don't know what their pronouns are, so I I default to they. Um, they're doing some really cool stuff with um trying to default to they anyway. Um, with like the camera goes through an environment, and so I think it'd be cool on the start screen for us if there's just it just goes to like different camera angles around the room so it's not just the same thing for like 10 minutes uh, like we could cut to like a really cool close-up of the breakfast table put some depth of field on it like I want to I want to 
I want to use what we have to its full advantage because I feel like I'm really good at figuring the first step in things and then not really digging deeper into how to make that like feel really like feel really good you know like rather than it being just a tech demo of a bunch of features i want it to feel like it's a production what what's the p p production value <laughs> Oh my god, someone is cutting the grass. Pobo duction valuable, <laughs> screams Hinka. So the first step in that is setting up a way to easily switch between cameras because currently I have a toggle system of like if this camera is toggled on it's got a bool it's got all this fluff attached to it and we don't need none of that. Um, I basically want to be able to... I'm gonna move this... I feel like this inspector being over there is annoying me. Because all the stuff I'm doing is down in the corner. So, currently we have this list of temporary cameras and these bowls associated with some of them and I've made new entries and having to physically do all of this to set up a new camera is bullshit. So, now I'm going to create a list of temporary cameras. I thought I'd already- oh, I mustn't have hit add. So, we've got our new class temp cam. Our screen view is one of those. So, you know, big screen. And we hit add. And now we have a string key for big screen. And a temp cam associated with it. And we can do a whole bunch of stuff to our temp cam. Like we could have animated events triggering on it, a whole bunch, but as long as we've got this like reference to temp cam, like if we wanted to do like a slow zoom or something, we can probably like put in a whole bunch of information to temp cam of like, what's your current target? What, what are you doing? Like how far away are you from it and stuff? But this is the, this is the first ingredient for that. Um, so, for instance, we could... Okay, add component, new temp cam. Um, room manager. Kuma has awakened. Oh. Someone did have a lion. Oh, is this the first he's been up? Holy shit, though. Man.
I think he might have. Either Spyro's eaten some of his breakfast or he has and he's come through anyway. I, ch I had to chase him all the way to the kitchen. Ah uh, yeah, Glim is a, it's a graphic novel that uh, Swifty wrote and drew. If you're interested, it's very good. And available in paper form. <laughs> oh! I should say, I forgot to say yesterday. Um, uh, my friend's book released yesterday. If you've ever... Um, <laughs> yeah. I should talk... Oh, fuck. I don't know... I was so in tutorial mode that I forgot by the end of the stream. And then later on in the day, I was like, holy shit, it's out today. So let me just, let me just, uh, hang on. Let's see. It's called... I got his. Twitter. Hey, there we go. Uh, bah. Yeah, Twistwood Tales is out. It came out uh, yesterday. I think it's got, I don't think it's out internationally everywhere, but I think the US maybe got it yesterday um, from what my understanding, but it's a really cool um, webcomic turned uh, like, it's kind of like a fantastical world of cool little collection of kind of short, funny stories. Um, I don't know, like if you look, um, Uh, here. You've seen some of those comics before. Yeah. Um, they're, they're very cool. Uh, they're very, very cool. Uh, I think. <laughs> they're like this. <laughs> oh, th I think this is when they were doing, um, like an adventure choice thing. And people had to cho maybe cho like choose your own adventure type stuff. Dogs of Onster, how come you guys didn't tell me Monster Hunter Rise is so fun? We did tell you! We did tell you. Ben's played um, Monster Hunter World, but not Rise. Rise is, I, I think Rise is much, much more fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's good stuff. Um, I think one of the the kind of more memorable characters in there is um Twist with themselves, and then there's Bucket Boy and stuff. You should go check it out. Out today by Twistwood. I wonder if there's a better like inside version of the book. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you are. Very cool. I use, um, that first, yeah, that first jungly environment and world is, is very good. I, I will say that the, the kind of immersive feel in world is very good like i think they put <laughs> i think they put a lot more into the world building um in world but getting around in and rise is so fun like just moving through the environment like 
there's a lot of set dressing in world but once you've kind of discovered it you're like okay that was cool but every time you're like out and rise you're like i could ride the dog um tracking the monsters was also cool like i think rise makes it way easier to just go kill um so i agree with that as well i like i like aspects of both but rise is definitely a more friendly initial game multiplayer experience if they just combine the two perfect game Yeah, like, story in world was kind of okay. Like, there was there was aspects of it, but locking going to fight the monster with your friends behind that first initial cinematic, like, just, just show... You know what would have been cool? You know what would have been great, okay? Was have have your cinematics where like your character is is there <clears throat> but show the main quest giver being the person in the cinematic and everyone who's joined the quest is going to be like oh yeah yeah they're they they took out the quest so they're the, like the, they're in the cinematic i would have been absolutely fine with that I kind of wish I could play a monster hunter that was more expedition focused. They have that in world, right? Where you can just go out. I think I did that in Rise as well and I killed like 17 monsters. <laughs> I just I just bought 17 monsters. They kept turning up and I kept fighting them. They used to have a system where you would go out and like it was almost like a procedural environment as well that you would go through and try and see what was in there. I like that as well. You want the idea to be expanded. Yeah, you just want open world monster hunter go out survive. <laughs> you can have a piece of bread. You, want? you got soup. I got you two. Soup. What do you think of the Uh, so we've got the airship one. Split screen, we'll leave for now. Screen cam, airship cam, third person cam. Power got dis got them zoomies going. <laughs> you haven't quite gotten the trick of capturing in Rise yet. My palico is a bit of a liar. He's like, it's ready to capture, and it is not. Fair enough. Is that how? Because Jacob seemed to be like always ready to capture. I wonder if he just saw from the behaviors or whether his his um, palico or his palama was like, I can see it's weak. Hmm. 
Dog, since you're awesome, since you're awesome showing in Metroid Prime, did you end up getting the remaster? I did not. Um, I've been real busy. I haven't even played Elden Ringling in like a couple of months. Sadly, I've not been playing. The only game I've been playing lately is chess. <laughs> I want. Here's a here's a here's a question for you all. How interested would you be in seeing me play chess on stream? I don't know if I will. I am not very good. Kevin would love it. Kevin Kevin would love it. Kevin just watches me play just sneakily anyway. <laughs> You don't understand chess and it needs more bright colors. Can it be 4G D chess? What about 5D though? You played against Kevin yesterday. How'd it go? Oh, 5, 5D chess is like there's multiple dimensions of the chessboard and things in one make things happen in another. And you have to, if you win in one, you win in them all. Yo! It's a space pirate Fenrir. Welcome. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome in. I'm making a temporary cam system uh, inspired by Barry. It's not so much quiet coding time. That's chatty coding time. How was your stream, fan? How you doing? It's loud. It's loud coding time. Okay, so now we can pass these names into the code. So airship, big screen, couch, follow. So I don't need to like specify a camera anymore. I can just be like couch. I need to I need to know what these names are, but I think this was dynamic or follow. Wait. I'm editing the wrong the wrong bit. This one. What the hell? Maybe she did get a dingleberry. She's certainly angry about it.
It was good. Did some character design commissions and I tried my hand at designing a gun. Ooh. Nice. What kind of gun? So I think it's big screen follow couch. The cool thing about this is that um, since these are triggered by strings now, um, I can pass a string pretty easily from chat. So I could probably make the mods able to change to certain cameras. <laughs> if I so chose. Oh, we were going to make it that, that um, mods can change the Be Right Back camera, right? Or I wouldn't let chat do it. Why would, why would you let chat do it? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I would do, I would do a toggle. I would do like a rede redeem maybe for that. I thought you meant let the chat let chat do the beer BRB screen. One of my mods wanted a sci-fi sniper rifle and I got fixated on designing how it would work. It turned out okay though. That's really cool. Yeah, if you want to share it or show it, um, you're a VIP now. So if you use uh, exclamation uh, grab space and then paste the URL, URL link to an image, it'll pop it in the overlay. Which requires a lot of trust on my part. Yeah, please. All right. So if I hit play here, oh, this is going to be weird for you guys. So I might turn off the overlay so you're not seeing double going on. Um, so yeah, hopefully what should happen is the camera changes. Apparently not. Apparently not.
keep writing tempt cam. Jesus. Ooh la la. Also, yes, multiplayer overlay goal. It's it's a fairly uh, substantial amount, but I'm going to be working on it even while the goal is goal is going. But I was just saying that I feel like um, a true multiplayer overlay is. Uh, the moon race when it comes to custom built people things. Maybe someone's already done it and we just have never never met them. I like that um, Dupers creates that sh sense of shared um, like it feels like his there, fuck. It, um, it feels like they're, uh, their starting screen involves a bunch of characters that are like a shared world thing. I think I, oh shit, don't, don't flicker. I think I, yeah. Yeah, and he's saying like he wouldn't want to just like use the idea, but it, like Onso would be probably um, would be happy with us kind of including her in the kind of shared world. I mean, we already got a little Onsta model over <laughs> over there in the corner, um, but I think more more than that is that like having that kind of shared shared world, shared characters, shared um, vibe. Thing going on is something that I've wanted for a long time. We've wanted for a long time, but haven't haven't quite been able to get to yet. But yeah, having them able to come in, run around, and do stuff—that's the that the dream. Uh, okay, so third person. Cool. The current temp cam has changed here. If I hit it again, it goes back, and now it's null. I hit screen. I hit temp cam. I hit temp cam again. Yeah! Dudes, it's working. How do you have you and Swift in the same scene at the moment? Ah, uh, that's local multiplayer. Um, which isn't as straightforward as you think. Uh, but uh, that yeah, that's basically I've got something that assigns gamepads and assigns a controller to each gamepad and binds the two characters. <laughs> I'm gonna throw Ben. <laughs> We'll just put a Ben shaped object, just a cube with the ben name, with, to, just to put Ben on a cube and like you wants to throw him. A what? <laughs> An unidentified flying Ben. <laughs> UFB. <sighs> Stop being funny off, off microphone. I, I love you Swifty, you're so fucking funny. Oh, I'm controlling you now. Woo! Gun. Gun. There you go. <laughs> Your eyebrows are so funny. <laughs> so if you love gun. What can I do? Yeah. This pair is even better with your uh, Sonic shoes now. Nah. 
soon Swifty will not be able to run through objects. Soon. You'd like that, yeah. It's just annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Okay. Okay, we're si our our system for for listening is go. Uh, bring the overlay back. Bring me back. Bring gun back. I need to. My head is weird. Being weird. Oh. I see what's happened. Disconnected. There we go. The world is cursed to give us a funny, clever, good friend who is then too busy. Yeah. Swifty's my best friend. You are, though. You are. <laughs> Swifty just said her best friend is Sonic. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Okay, so next up, uh, let's add the couch one to our to our buttons. I just gotta hit this. And then stream deck. Can I close the window? You know when someone's cutting the grass and it's just sort of like you gotta ooh, 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 ooh. New donation from a very special space buyer at Fenria. I owe you at least this much for all the things I've learned from screen capping your Unity project. Oh man, that's so cool. Thanks, Fen. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're at 4% of the goal now. That is really cool. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 a big goal, so 4% is a, is a big amount. Thank you. Wow, these... There we go. I gotta make... I gotta make my stream deck look way nicer. Look at this. Look at this. Look how horrible this looks. <laughs> I made nice buttons for the change into the rooms. But all my cam buttons are really bad. Yeah, the stream deck buttons are one of the last things to do. So let's do it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's working! We have couch. Okay, so I think the couch 
couch cam should be a cut. So on uh, our main camera, we have something that's got called the Cinema Machine the Brain, and we add um, any camera to couch. Couch. Any <clears throat> oh, puberty, hello. Um, any camera to couch is a cut. And the any camera is a cut. Play. <gasps> it's a horror raid. <laughs> Hello. We're doing okay. We watched we watched this really cool streamer called Barry. Um stream his oh wait oh we jittering we jitter okay we're good. Um I'm big inspired by a, stream, a streamer called Barry who did, uh, he, he was Barry Kramer. He was dog swifting yesterday. I had a very, very, very fun and cool stream. And I'm feeling inspired. Um, you know what? I'm going to put it in the title. By Barry. I wrote Barry. By Barry. Wait, I can do the whole at thing. Barry is streaming. Did that work? Done? Did that work? I want to see. I've never been able to tag. I want to see if a tag worked. I want to see. Did the taggy work? Tag it, tag it, tag it, tag it, tag it. Twitch TV. Dogs. Don't listen, dog. It did. Oh, that's cool. He yellow. Him yellow. That's cool. That's cool. So yeah. He had a very cool talk show camera, cool camera setup, whole thing going on. It was very good. It was it was very good. Uh, and so I wanna add production value to my stuff. What breakfast is being had? None currently. Oh, uh, we got a we got a we got a cheese and bacon burger plus uh, some more bread, some more cheese, some more bacon. Hey guys, you want to make you want to throw some more? Do you want to make a, a bigger breakfast sandwich? Come on, we can do better than this. We can we can do better than this. Yes, let's go. More bread, more cheese, more bacon, more burger, more egg, more lettuce, more tomato. Let's go. Let's stack this sandwich. This is what we're having for breakfast. Are you glad you asked? Let's go. No! <laughs> Start again. We got some bread. We got some cheese. We got some bacon. We got some cheese. We got some bacon. We got some burger. We got some bacon. We got some cheese. We got some... Bacon, we got some cheese, we got some lettuce, we got some egg, we got some egg, we got- No! <laughs> I might make it that the when they stack, they're stuck, so they don't fall over anymore. I don't know if that's more or less fun. This is our breakfast kingdom. saved it yeah um but in other news i just realized that swifty would have been running around in the background of this in other news couch cam yeah couch cam third person cam whoa 
don't do that one just now. Couch cam. Um, if I turn this overlay off, so we got third person cam, we got breakfast stream cam, we have couch cam, come out, couch, breakfast stream. What's cool is breakfast stream will always kind of transition from wherever cam currently is. So if it's couch, couch cuts, but screen moves, or couch cuts. The third person also moves. To screen moves. Cut. Yes! I feel my power, it grows. So you're testing expanding the camera manager. I am. I'm making a, a cam system that like uh doesn't require I was doing a system where I only had like one temp cam, so I was like temp cam on off otherwise the room manager switches the camera so like if we all move room you know it goes you know we're over here the camera switches to this one we're over here camera switches to this one we're over here the camera oh, we're going to space kind of funny what the mouse was hovering over there you could see what was happening still in the overlay um but this uh just cuts cuts to the camera without us ha without us moving so this is outside of the room manager one um yeah so we can go to the third person Cut back to the couch. We can go to the screen. Toggle off. So now we can add more cameras. We can also um, <coughs> give a reference to what the target is, um, and also public transform follow target and change those if we need to. You could, we could do like, um, we could do an animation where we have the camera look like it's fallen over, like do like a Dutch angle on it, like a boom. <laughs> that could be kind of good. That could, you know what? That could be kind of good. Using DG Queen. Do. Uh, public void to Dutch angle. Oh. Can I have more than one stream deck plugged in? Yeah, yeah. It does work like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. All cameras on one of them. It could be. 
I think I I would I would prefer that you have it and you were able to do cameras over on your side. What? I don't mind taking it back, but I... Every everything works on it for you. You just don't press the button. Really? It should should be working. It is, it is, it is full of stuff that doesn't work. Yeah, I will though. I'll make it work for you, India. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself with the Dutch angle thing, but I think that'd be cool. Oh, thanks. Thanks very much, David. I Sorry, I didn't... I forgot to... I got ca ca caught up in explaining stuff. I hope you had a great stream, dude. Thanks for bringing folks over. I really appreciate it. I'm... My head is a sieve, and I, I forgot... I forgot good etiquette there. Um, folks that came over from uh, David's raid, let me know what you were watching. What were you guys up to? You were playing the room too. <laughs> oh, puzzles. I see. Okay. When I hear the room, I think of that uh, Tommy Wiseau film. Did you know? Oh, I think they were remaking the room as an April Fool's or something. The Better Call Saul actor. Um, was gonna <laughs> was gonna play the role that Tommy Tommy Wiseau did. You've met Tommy Wiseau twice. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is he like that in like off camera or? He is like that off ca Okay. I... Very. <laughs> hmm? Does it, does it make it better? Like, on one hand, it's like, is he actually a comedy genius? Or is he unhinged? He's just like... <laughs> Have you ever seen the footage of him when he had like... Like a Let's Play... TV show, and he was just incredibly awful at, at playing games. He just makes the oddest decisions every second of every day. Yeah. It's great though. I mean, it's it's great. You can't fault him. Okay. So we now have Screen view. Actually, I'm gonna rather than duplicating 
uh, screen view, I'm going to duplicate the purple coach because it has a nicer camera angle. So, um, I think it would be good to do like uh, a swift chair cam. The soloing is how you're met. Okay. Hitting solo is how you position the camera. I get it now. We've just unlocked how. This is going to save me hours. I think you could fall in. <laughs> Take care, David. What would make funny framing? Um, y at the moment, yeah. I was thinking of parenting the camera to your chair, so if it moves, it still frames the chair. But that's a, that's like a side thought. The white of the whole room. Flat top down and a white of the room. Okay. I'll do that in a sec. The voyeur cam, one from outside looking in the window. Okay, we'll do that in a second. What would be a what would be a good framing? Do you think for uh, for your chair or you in your chair? We can have a cam that's pinned to your face. All right, we can do that. So it's not locked to where you're looking. But well, we'll set that up. That's that's coming. <laughs> Sir Digby Chicken Caesar Cam. Do you want me to I'll okay. I'll I'll do that one first. Um so we could potentially have it so that Do you do you want it to feel like it's attached to your body? Okay. So it is attached to your body. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So 
Swift. <laughs> if someone sends me through Sir Chicken Digby Caesar, I will. So Digby Chicken Caesar, I will put it up. I'm going to call this camera Swift Digby. Okay, in, in, in honor of that. And. Uh, we're gonna hit, put, pull it down and attach this way. I'm always off camera now. I, I need to have a reset thing that um, resets me without me needing to reset me, like a timer. Adventures of Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. Yeah. The one. All right. So, zero 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 zero. How close? And what sort of field of view do you think? <laughs> you just, you just like I want that. I'm not going to describe it to you. Simply watch. Okay. Yeah, it is. Sir Chicken Digby Caesar. Is it in a particular episode that he does it? He does it in all of them. Okay, I think... I think he's about to do it here. So this is like, this is like attached to his, he can look around, it's, a, it's like it's attached to his shoulders, so he can still move his head, but if he moves his body, um, okay. We're still playing. <laughs> this is England. So I think if if I've got a bone chain that is turning but it's turning in a fraction down the spine if we attach it lower in the spine the head will be able to turn but you'll get that really slight light like you'll still be able to move your head so that you can see more angles of your head 
but you'll get that slight turn, so... We put it on, like, spine 2. Let the camera go. It feels like it needs to be... Perhaps, perhaps not. <laughs> it needs to be white in some way, though. Swifty got them, them, them kicks. Because sometimes he does. He went straight on. Okay. If you turn your head, it will turn a little bit. Alright. <laughs> okay, if we go back... <laughs> if we go back... Oh my god, this is... If we go back to our room manager now, um, actually no, we have to put a temp cam on. No, it's already got a temp cam. It's cool. We're good. Um, room manager, go down here. Uh, add. So Swift Digby, and then go down. Where does it go? Where did it go? Did it not attach? Oh no, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay. <laughs> when did Swifty get them Sonic Kick? Uh, she got them for her birthday and we just haven't, we haven't removed them yet. Okay, room manager. <laughs> then... Plus... Uh, Swift... Digby... Look for the... Camera... Add... Okay. Then, if we go to... Okay. 
Swift. Okay, save, copy, copy this, go back to our window, um, I think move this and this over here, control C, control V, and then make the toggle mem member ID toggle Swift Digby, Swift Digby, okay. Dog B is right there. Yeah, but the, this is for Swift. So I think Swifty's wanted this forever. Are you are you laughing? Have you wanted it forever? Are you laughing at what? You had something in your oh, you weren't laughing. You just were trying. <laughs> You're just trying to snuff something out of your nose. Cute. All right. Do you guys like the movie Kung Fu Hustle? I watched it again a few days ago and I love it so much. The physical comedy always gets me. Um, story is kind of non-existent, but at the same time it makes so much fun of all the tropes and I feel like watching the hero's journey on speed. Okay, so let me take you back in time. Little Doigelbur went to university and when he first moved into his dormitory, um, the entire flat did had no internet. Um, and so... Uh, without internet, the only thing the dog had for company was his collection of DVDs. And one of those DVDs was Kung Fu Hustle. So little doggo bear... <laughs> on those cold dark evenings... Without contact from any of the outside world watched Kung Fu Hustle on repeat <laughs> to stave off the dark times and the loneliness. I fucking love Kung Fu Hustle. It's such a good film. It's such a good film. Stephen Chow. Ah. Have you seen... Have you seen Shaolin Soccer? <laughs> That's another good one. I don't know which one I like more. There's something particularly funny about Kung Fu Hustle. You love Sherilyn Soccer. Like, as much as, as much as like the Carter crew are like, oh look, we can do anime in live action. It's like, no we fucking can't. Watch Kung Fu Hustle. That's anime in live action. Go fucking study. There it is. Fucking, man. Understand. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead hit the button. Uh, put this down. All right. Do you want to do the honor Swifty or are you busy? No. I'm... <laughs> yeah. I think so. Okay. I think okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. <clears throat> 
so the the thing about this is that the your movement is related to the camera so we either we got a couple of options i think we either make it so that um We, this camera is an overlay camera. Um, and therefore, your movement is sort of still based... Your movement would still be based on what the previous... Like, the main camera is showing. And you might be able to kind of feel it out and orientate like what is what direction is forward yeah the other option is to change your controls which i think i would know how to do but it it's it's effectively the same but down would be always going towards no actually it wouldn't Yeah. I think I'm gonna... Either... Either way... Um... Is... Is tricky. One requires changing what the... Um... Stick input... Direction would be. Um... In relation to the camera then. And the other way would be... Changing... Hmm... I think I think I'm going to go the overlay camera route. And then Swifty can figure out what way was run forward and do it relative to that. So what that means is, we need to create a branch. Swifty doesn't half make a second brain half make it like I want this camera. Oh, this one doesn't actually doesn't fit with um, <laughs> the current system, but it will. We remove the audio listener because you can't have more than two in a scene, and uh, more than one in a scene. And then we give this a brain.
Okay. I could either create... No. Do it this way. Do it this way. I was like, I could create two... Two... Um, camera managers and have one camera manager for, for for the main camera and one camera manager for the overlay camera but if it's if the temp cam needs to know about whichever te other temp cam is current then yeah we'll do it this way so if it's an overlay cam Then we're going to turn on the second brain camera. I think that... That's the play? Is that the play? If temp dot is let's make this public. Is overlay cam. We do this before anything else. Then, uh, second brain dot set, second, yeah, second brain set, active, full screen. Public game object. Second brain. Else. Okay, so otherwise the output cam and second brain is false. We got a reference to second brain, we go back. You ever spend an hour learning how to do something and then realize you need to learn to do it another way? Yes, all the time. I, I did the camera system and then I redid the camera system during this very stream. The, the, the temp camera system.
Cool, that is insane. Oh, cool, you can... Oh, that's sweet. You can do your own curves here. That's really cool. I like that. So presumably, if <coughs> if Swift's camera were still solo, ah, oh, we're still seeing main cam. Did I turn second brain off? Oh, second brain's on. I was thinking it would be an overlay camera, but I don't know if it needs to be. We're not currently looking through it though. Trash cam was sending its information to a texture. Like I could pop I could pop something like that up on the UI. But it would be good if it filled the whole screen. Which it still could do, the UI could do that. If I turn the if I turn the main camera off. Where is the main camera? Here. Off. Ooh. 
Can you just change which display <laughs> display the camera whatever you're showing? No, probably not. Probably not. Okay. Oh, shit, there it is. Priority, zero. There we go, that's what we want. Second brain, priority. Faith. One. Two. Show me the... Show me the fucking... Show me this camera. Show me this camera. Okay. Let's see what ha let's see what happens. I turn the camera off. Okay. No reference exception. I did I didn't tell I didn't tell the script about the camera. Thank you. How you doing? Welcome in. How many game windows? So if I go to... If I go to Digby, and I say... Way yay is an overlay cam. Come out. Then second brain should turn on if I hit the It is. But we're still seeing main cam. I feel like that's easier to control. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah, we need a we need a secondary brain because the main camera is still going there.
Um, let's see, I might be overcomplicating this. So rather than using the Cinemachine brain, move component. This needs to go. No, damn! I want it. I want it. I, I don't want to just use this camera. But rather than second brain. Um, Wait, what? Where did that go? I created that in the wrong one. My own spine too. Yeah, okay, camera. Copy component and camera. This component values. Cool, and then 57, 7. Rather than overlay cam, let's try and override cam. It's just semantics, really, but it makes m makes more sense of what it's doing. Um, is override cam? Okay. And then... Temp dot override. Uh, okay, so we have public cinema machine virtual camera, but then we could also have public um, game object. There might be a more elegant way to do this that I'll think of, not in the moment, but just to hack and see if this works. Raid cam. Yeah, so if it's an override cam, it, it just turns on the... Turns on a new camera and hopefully it overrides the other one. Okay. And no cinema machine required. Which also means that the camera 
but the previous should just be like it should just be like a And we also need to Okay. It's a it's a little it's a little intuitive, but it works. So the way that this is working in D is that like the camera the camera still sees you in the room. So it's probably it's probably easier to understand. Um, if we were in the main, you get it. Kind, kind, no, it's not. Yeah, but it's not Resident Evil. It's... Because Resident Evil is you press forward and the character moves forward. Yeah? It's not that. It currently what it is is if, if you press left. <laughs> Fast to you, okay. Okay. Yeah. Scamp cam, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, is that you jumping?
tracking and stuff you see is um, I made. Uh, a lot of the time I use um, paid assets for tools or for scripting. To assist, because I'm more of an artist than a programmer. What do you mean they don't look directly into camera in this mode? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we go even further beyond. Which one's super? This one. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't quite work because you lean so far over in this one. Hmm. <laughs> I might have to change something to accommodate for that. This is horrifying. Good. Hmm. I got a null ref, I think. I got a null ref. I got a null ref. Must be a better logic. There must be a better logic to this. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, so currently, it was erroring because it was trying to like change what the temp cam was. Uh, well, not not so much that, but like it was doing something that it couldn't do. Okay, think about this, because this is this was good. Let's comment this. So if there's a current temp and then deactivate it. Set the new temp cam to be the newly toggled one. If the how much times? Uh, I've been working on this since early 2021. So throughout 2022, uh, I was way more busy. So I. Um, I didn't, I couldn't work in it as much, but like I did it a little bit here and there. So I would say it's been two years, but, um, more like 14 to 50 months of stuff. Like I've been using it for two years though on the stream. If the new cam is an override cam, 
do this. Then we go outside of the current um, cinema machine logic. I wish we could go with it, like with it though. Why would it break? This. I don't have a game on Steam. We got, um, what was it called? There was a whole system where there was a whole voting thing. People could vote whether your game got, like, greenlit. We had a game greenlit on Steam, but we never brought it to sale. I wonder if that's that green light page or still exists. That's because the green light system, I think, was uh, stopped. Yeah, it might be gone.
I just found a let's play someone did of a, a demo of a game. What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> someone asked if we had a game on Steam, it was relevant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was looking to see if I can find it on Steam. Anyway, Swift off this, 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 Cool. Your ex cam. Yeah, it will. So you want it, you won't be able to just go into that at any point. Okay. <laughs> oh, let me do that now. My input code is so badly written now. I think that button just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I just... I have a whole button that just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, we just... Ba we don't use X... I use Y now for my sword. I don't use X either. Fuck me. Fuck me, man. Fuck <laughs> me. Um, stream manager dot instance dot room manager dot toggle. There you go. Toggle Swift Digby now is on your controller. It's nice to have spare buttons, but when you only have so many buttons and I'm not even using them, that's more. For X and Y. Uh... Yeah, now, now it is. Um, and Y used to be for you to take out your prop. So I used to... Oh, okay. Yeah. Prop. Props would be good, yeah. Oh, a wheel would be nice. A wheel would be good. Yeah. And then when you press it, you can toggle it on or off. An inventory button. Yeah, so...
Okay, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Oh. Oh crap. That's it's in play mode. Okay, well I'm gonna copy this. That new game object's not gonna exist. I'm gonna gonna do this and then gonna do this and then I'm going to and do parent call this some machine cameras. Ease of life. Okay. Rubble couch. Outside window. When you were suggesting outside the window, what sort of point of view were you thinking? A comedic angle. 
that page and girl in the glim. I know the assignment. <laughs> okay, so we copy this, we copy this, uh, and then we say toggle window cam, toggle window cam, toggle window cam. I keep forgetting to hit add. This resets and it's gone, I'll be sad. Come on. 
restart and it's gone. There we go. Pop down next. Oh, Rosebud or Water VR. Uh, a VPO, it, yeah, it says it there. Virtual interactive pop overlay is something we're building in Unity. So, sorry, my face connection keeps breaking every time I hit play. But, uh, yeah, this this whole setup here you see of, of me running around is like the virtual interactive pop overlay part of it. And I'm trying to make improvements. Recently watched a stream from Barry, who has taken up dog swifting as he calls it and it's very inspiring i i feel like i could add a lot to the realm of something called dog swifting <laughs> um and he had an amazing stream yesterday and i was oh, both me and swifty were just laughing our asses off um but one of the things he really capitalized on was his sense of staging which i think is something that uh we could do a lot with if um if we if if we like really put our minds to it so i'm feeling big inspired by barry's stream yesterday he has some really cool really cool set pieces and um i want to i've been spending today just trying to get like more of of that kind of production value and mindset uh here staging theater pageantry yes and Did Barry say he's going to do that more often now, or is it still one-offs? I don't know. Um, I was uh, I was excited for yesterday. Like there was a chance for me to go on and talk to Barry, but I ended up <laughs> I ended up falling asleep, um, so I didn't quite catch the end. And I, I'm sad because I missed it. But I'm hoping I'm hoping so. But I have I don't know. I don't know if it's. <laughs> he seemed to really enjoy it. So, I'm hoping he does more, but I don't know. I don't know if he said at the end of the stream whether he's going to do it more or not. <laughs> it is very good. I love that it lets the comedy breathe. <laughs> I love that game engines can allow this emergent kind of like i didn't expect that to happen this that you don't quite get from like pre-canned like animated stuff oh that's cool what sort of stuff are you thinking of doing then you didn't realize it had a name now yeah i think I think we're kind of trying to push forward on getting tutorials about it out. So we're using Animata and Vipo as our kind of shorthands for that. Animata being an autom an animated automata. I always go to say automated anamanama. <laughs> but basically it's a it's a puppet that you can animate. Or it feels more animated 
like driven by animation kind of ooh, I've talked about that. <laughs> ooh. Um and Vipo is that kind of virtual interactive puppet overlay. Keeps it broad, but you know. Wonder if we should go Yeah, in the beginning, Swifty saying that we didn't have any face capture or anything like that. We were using game controllers to do all the puppeting. So, puppet felt better than um, other things. But I think we still use... So I still use... Even though I'm using the face tracking, I'm still using the thumbstick to move my head around. I think it, it just adds a little bit more spice. Like, if I'm just using my head, I get a kind of range of motion, but it's the tracking kind of does a bit with it. Like, I know people that have the face tracking thing, like, attached to their their head like a helmet, so that it's always tracking the face and stuff, but this, this is, this hell, this beats that uh, in terms of just, like, being able to sit down at a computer and be like, yeah, I can just stay stationary and do, like, the lack thing and the little hand and you know i think it takes a little bit of um a learning curve to learn how to how to move but once you've been doing it for a bit you used to stop thinking about it hello oh it's fox in space welcome i'm i'm adding production value to my uh stream today and uh we're adding some cool cool new cameras um this one's gonna be a top down <laughs> we added one that uh, is based on it uh, on the kind of like mounted camera to your character thing from uh, Sir Chicken S Sir Digby Chicken Caesar Sir Chicken Digby Caesar Sir Digby Chicken Caesar um so I'll show you in a sec how is it how is it going are you are you hard at work on episode three is it the second one came out, right? There's so many things that dropped at the end of March and early April in terms of indie animation that has been blowing uh, both Indy and I's minds. <laughs> Mitchell and Webb is such a good show. Indeed. Thanks for the follows. Appreciate it. You're already in betweening for your episode three. Holy shit, that's awesome. So did you like work forward into three and then hold back releasing two so that there'd be less of a gap between the two when you release three? Or is it just you were working on different aspects that interested you? So you're like, okay, I'll do some stuff for for more pre-production stuff on three while i'm doing post-production stuff on two because that would make sense as well worked entirely on two until it was done halfway through three though okay gotcha that's really cool halfway through three Though you will start work on your own series. That's really cool. Is that like a series that is not based in, um, you know, the Lilith War, the the whole thing? Yeah, because I would have, I kind of thought of, you know, Fox in Space as your own, I don't know, yeah, as your own thing. It feels. I guess it is tied to in a, in a way. That's really cool. You start making the violence. It's your own original series. Is it violent? <laughs> or is it anti-violent and the violence are the antagonists?
that's cool like bar like almost a remix or an au of those original characters um that's the, that's a good way to tie it in and also um recoup work and I, I like that I think Patrick's been kind of thinking about um, more anthropomorphic stories that he can tell in a similar vibe to the one he did for Night Runner. Um, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, completely unrelated universe, no crossovers. It's it's simply the same. Yeah, like an alternate universe version of these of these characters. They look the same, but they're not the same. You sure you don't want to? Swifty's talking to me. Are you sure you don't want to tell people about that yourself? <laughs> I guess you can still see the reaction from people. Um, yeah, we were we were out walking, and um, Swifty and I were discussing like how could we um, kind of we're talking about how it feels like we're sort of missing this key ingredient of like what is the what is the kind of encompassing vision of of what we're going for so for for instance um other overlays there's like pumpkin potions has a um has a like um old black and white cartoon aesthetic and is is very much like um hitting like nailing that like the characters um, that, that that their VTuber is is an old cartoon from that time period. So she's got lore and all the, all sorts of stuff there. And um, we've seen other v VTubers where they are um, really digging into the kind of retro game '90s like aesthetic. Um, and uh, like like Dreamcast era Sega that sort of stuff. It was making us think like what what it is that because we don't we don't necessarily want to do that even though like um swifty and, and our huge huge fans of that stuff and um, we were trying to figure out what our our version of that um kind of cohesive realm would be and um Swifty was like, what if, what if the background felt a little bit more painterly, like hand painted textures, um, but the, the characters are more flat shaded and it, <laughs> through talking like, oh yeah, that could, that could look really cool. And then we were like, that will, that would make us look more like animated. And then we're like, oh yeah, yeah. And then I think we just kind of like, we could we could be like Saturday morning cartoons <laughs> um, and have the have the like it feel like more like we are on painted backgrounds with cell shaded characters so the dream come true yeah become <laughs> become the Saturday morning cartoons so I'm, I'm, I'm looking I want to like look into being 
getting getting the stream to look more like that. Um, which is exciting. Yeah, that's what Swifty was saying for me to say. Although I, she said it in such a more concise way than I did. Yeah, I was trying to think of like uh, how to get the shader feel more. Because we, I got tune shading on a little bit, but I think we, I think we can go deeper. I think we can go deeper. Right now, I just look at kind of like a low poly model. So that's gonna be overlay 2.0. <laughs> And I, I think partially that as well is that you can you can hide a lot of the VTuber jank um, if you obscure it in style. Haha. <laughs> but you, you know. You're trying to imagine me grabbing the little sword and shield from my back. Well, are you watching? Are you watching? Opcha! Did you see it? I'm so fast. Got them. Yeah, I've just got a toggle for them. These are my adventure equipment for when I play Tunic. I just kept them on my model because I like, I like, hey, quiet down front. <laughs> I like the lack of trumpets found, found that one. Um, I'm using Cinemachine uh, for a lot of it. So, this one's just a static one, but like I can go between here and the screen. So, it's just tweening using Cinemachine. There's Barry. Barry's very good. <laughs> um, so there's this one. There's also a third person camera that uh, takes a while to catch up. If Swifty's been off in this in space somewhere, it takes a while to catch up. Okay. Okay. Swifty is saying that the next ne the next Let's Play date won't be this weekend coming, but the weekend after, and we're either going to be playing Tunic, or we're going to be playing um, Ishin. It'll be Austin and Swifty playing Ishin. I think Ishin should be should be the one. I I'll be there. I'll be there. Also, we discovered that I don't sanitize uh, text strings, so there you go. Okay. So today I've been setting up a uh, camera system. A better one. for doing kind of um, cool cutaways and stuff like that.
Should the top down be more flat on India or more dynamic? What do you think? Flat on. Yeah. You can see where Barry doesn't have ceilings. I might be on the mass now. <laughs> Why is it so high? So I think in in this case, I'm going to do like a camera cheat where I turn off the roof, but currently the roof is part of the floor, so I'll need to I need to sort that out. is the essence of comedy. You just laugh at me. I need to stop talking to you, sorry. Thanks for the follow. Well, I appreciate it. Welcome.
can't remember what object the wall was. So I'm just gonna undo until it comes back. And then paste in those properties. Then we go to our room manager and we can add that camera. Top down. Thank you for the Jaffa cake. I should have little... Nah, maybe I shouldn't have sounds that trigger. I should maybe have sounds that trigger so I don't always have to be looking at... stuff. Like a little... Burp, 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 burp. That sort of thing. I wonder if uh, Jaffa cakes have ever had a theme song. That is a sound that triggers, yeah, right. You are helping. Interesting. This is, this is interesting. The icon for this has changed. But I shouldn't have been... I shouldn't have been the one changing it. That's weird. Okay. What was this called again? Don't can. Cool. I'm going to try running this then. Have I had any of the strawberry of the strawberry Jaffa cakes before? Uh, I don't think I've had official strawberry Jaffa cakes, but I feel like I've had other brand strawberry Jaffa cakes. Yeah, I'll I'll let you in a secret. I actually prefer the kind of Jaffa cake where the cake is slightly smaller and there's less like um chocolate around the. They have a smaller scale. They're nicer. The black market stuff. My oh, gosh, I won't tell anyone. Yeah. I don't think I've shown you guys this yet, but we just um, got a new camera for Swifty that I hope, hope Swifty like. I'm showing them the new camera that we got for you. 
You have another request? Go for it. Yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I can do that. So would you, you, okay, so you would float face down and one of them face up. Okay. No, I don't know what you mean with a gif. I thought it's your favorite, okay, India's sending me her favorite gif. Okay. So would, would the pool be in the field? Part of the field? Or is it separate? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I should I should be able to do that. <laughs> A slightly wider version. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I can I can do that. Yo, thank you. Thirteen months. That's awesome. Thanks very much, Felix Boltwood. Oh, thanks for the jelly cat. That happened in two places. Uh, screen. Here we are. Okay, I'm I'm swifty in one scene and myself in another because my cam, my ca my controller things are bored. But thank you. So let's see screens. We should now have window. Very good. And top down. Yep. Got top down. Uh, window. Do we also have breakfast fall? We do. Cool. <laughs> awesome. I think the staging for this could be stronger, but it maybe it requires. I think it's because you don't see m most of what what's happening. Maybe I just need to not be framing all three windows. I'm not sure. Um, this is a good one. <laughs> this is our Sir Chicken Digby Caesar version. <laughs> oh yeah that should also trigger from uh swifty's controller now so she can be like <laughs> from her controller that's very good that's very good <laughs> You love the chase point of view. <laughs> huh. <laughs> oh, she's sitting there.
Okay. Um, what else? What else she can, do? can she do? Parkour. Oh, parkour. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not, that's too, it's too fast. It doesn't, I don't like it. it doesn't really give you the feeling. Uh, whack -em? What does whack -em do? Oh, we gaming. Like you can butt slide now and then. Uh, this could be good. Which one is it to um to draw this one? <laughs> this one's not that good. <laughs> Put the dance on. Okay, which one's dance? This one. Oh yeah, there we go. I put I put whack em on by accident. <laughs> What's the song that they do for this video? The like No Stop Brooklyn. That one or Which which Beastie Bot boy song is it that they use the, that camera? Is it all of them? A lot of them, okay. Yeah. No. Sleep till Brooklyn. This is great. <laughs> Thanks for this, India. Yeah. This would be good in instances where it's like, India, where are you? She's like, I'm coming. Where are you? I'm like, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> she coming <laughs> oh what if what if slow walk though Unfortunately, um, Swifty can't run backwards. I was considering doing a thing where the control scheme would be um, like down would be forward, running forward, up would be running backwards, left and right would be strafe. But I think that's that's a task for another day, even if if we even use it. This could this could be a good gift. <laughs> India, is this how time feels? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's happening. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Did you know there's no bagels on Space Call in the Ark? Just to talk about Sonic again. <laughs> This is like that scene from Moon Knight. <laughs> oh, it's too good. It's too good. I have to save it. We have to save it. Help her. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I love it when shit breaks in funny ways. Okay, that's on your toggle is now, so that's yours forever, Swifty. Yeah, this needs more bomb. Unfortunately, bombs aren't triggering in that version. Let's build this. Let's build it. We're, we're building this. We're building this. Uh, this one. Close. I think these. Uh, this is gonna unlock uh, so many things. I hope. I hope. What other camera angles would be good? More location, Julie. Really. We turn up. I like that we. Oh, I like that we. Um. Does it seem brighter? I don't know. I like that we just turn up in the room now. There was a couple of years <laughs> where it just didn't load the right right place until I pushed a couple of buttons every single time. Yeah. Well, let's see, it's still working. <laughs> what are you what are you doing up there? <laughs> Get down here. <laughs> yeah, that one works, I think. <laughs> let's see. Throw some bombs and shit. Throw something. Come on. Should be working now. Yeah, let's fuck it up. <laughs> oh, of course, you're still you're throwing it from over here now. That makes sense. That makes sense.
Yeah, I like that. I like top down. I like window. Yeah, so I've changed the way the bombs are thrown so that they throw from wherever the camera is. But I might change that for that particular camera. I got a, I got a little man, I got a little boy. I'm gonna go, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna go feed him. Have you given them wet food in the air? No, then they're totally due. Hmm, if there's a thing that, what is that? What, what, what it, who did, is that, is that like chocolate things or is that poop? I can't believe you would do this, who did this? Pal bro. What are you talking about? This is a cat. They're kittens, you, you each. They look like poop. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca, Rebecca is too strong. She's cool. She's like intimidatingly cool. She's one of those people where it's like, I get nervous if I talk to her because I'm like, oh no, she's so cool. <laughs> As the world keeps on spinning, going round and round in America, the time has gone a little bit faster than it has here. That's the way the world works is a science a science explanation that you can learn if you try. It's then the science of the world is a big gold place and it grows in around circles in the depths of space. <laughs> I should never teach science. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Check this out! Look at the tiny feet! <laughs> so Look at the tiny feet! Tippy toes! <laughs> he's presenting! I don't like that he's presenting! I don't like that! I don't want it! No, leave me alone! Back away, please! <laughs> Tiniest feet! He's got such a little boots! Oh my gosh, okay, um, that's fighting, right? There's no ground there, so I don't think wing attacks for Hmm, if there's a thing that- What is that? What, what, what it- Who did- Is that- Is that like chocolate things, or is that poop? I can't believe you would do this, who did this? Pal bro! What are you talking about? This is just a cat. They're kittens. You each. They look like poop. <laughs> oh, it didn't come out with the camera when I hit turn off. That should make it... Oh, maybe I commented that out, of course. Michael Mudo, welcome! How you doing? Uh... Let's just survey the wreckage, shall we?
Yeah, this is good. <laughs> With all the stuff floating around, wouldn't it be awesome if the ship was darting down, like the clouds passing fast if we were on a parabola? That could be really good, yeah. <coughs> Or how neat would it be if, like, um, <coughs> our skybox, we passed out of a sky layer and we could see a little bit of space. And then, if I hit this button, <laughs> we come back down to atmosphere. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is... <laughs> <coughs> move the overlay down because it keeps poking in the bottom but it, it, I think it's maybe too set too high so I'll just move this down and I'll fix it um yeah of course we've always got our uh Pretty good couch camera. <laughs> <coughs> this oh, sometimes doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Cool. Yeah? <coughs> Get some food with you. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, okay. That sounds good to me. They do stop serving at a certain time. Is it four? Okay. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Coach cam is good. I think, I think they do, so I think what I was remembering was one time we went in and they were like, sorry, we're only doing retail, and that was on, that was on a Sunday. I think we, let's go, let's go. Um, yeah, Swifty just invited me for lunch, so I think I'm going to call the stream here and go get some, go get some lunch with my with my Swifty. Um, but yeah, we got we got some cool camera stuff happening. Hey. We got top down. <laughs> we <laughs> we got window. We got Swift Digby Chicken Caesar. We got couch cam. We got screen cam. We got third person dynamic cam. <laughs> Top down's pretty good.
So if it's on couch, it should fire straight at the couch if you fire a bomb. Yeah, there we go. What if I do a test bomb? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> cool. That's the bomb. <laughs> nice. Um, and I can toggle off this way. <laughs> Are you doing okay? Oh, I've never tried moving me in relation to Swifty when she's uh. Oh, I'm up here. <laughs> Swifty, now we're a Beastie Boy video. West Philadelphia, born and raised. Oh, I can carry you in this camera view as well. And throw you. Oh, my movement isn't in relation to to it, but I think it should be. Okay, I think I will remake the controls for it, but the framing is good. Yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go. <clears throat> All right, everybody, it's been real. It's been awesome and goodbye. It just ends there. Alright, I'm gonna hit credits. Thanks everyone. <laughs>